I always take calls from a bureau no matter what's going on. Dad! It's one of the bureaus calling. I've also learned never to take calls from somebody if they're trying to book me by going around a bureau. You're not supposed to call me here. You're supposed to call the bureau first and work out the contract. Then we talk. You understand? I try to take every job that comes my way, even if I have other plans. Hello, this is Helen from Speak, Speak, Speak. I have a job for you on May 19th for the National Citrus Association. Are you open on that date? Hello, this is Trish from Talk, 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 and Talk Some More. I have a job for you on June 11th for U.S. Sugar. Are you available on that date? This is Eileen from Whisper, Whisper, Whisper. I have a job for you. I customize a lot. So I check out the client's website, and then I call them. Uh, just, I just wanted to get a little information, if I might. Uh, you can't give me any information. You can't tell me anything at all about what you guys do. I can't, you can't give me any names. You can't give me anybody to joke about. You can't give me any information whatsoever. It's all classified. Hmm. Yeah, I could still make it funny. Before traveling, I pack as efficiently as I can, but I still like to take a few things that make me feel more at home. First thing I do is pack my power cords, so my cell phone and my iPod. I know the airlines say you're not allowed to bring any bottles that have more than three ounces of liquid, but I find they don't really check. Ready? Good. Have you seen Mookie anywhere, Dad? Check in the back. Bye. Come on, boy. As soon as I get to my destination, I try to make the most of my free time by getting ready for the show. I am the funniest man in Billings, Montana. 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 I am the funniest Billings. Mo I am the funniest. I am the funniest man in Billings, Montana. Then it's time for the show. The important thing is, in each case, I was able to get a job and make a sale. And making a sale requires what I like to call strategic planning. You've all heard the term strategic planning, a lot of you involved with implementing strategic planning, but today I want to give you my definition of what I mean by the term strategic planning. Your association, NAB, in my opinion, is the best of its kind. And success like this can only come from one source, leadership. People such as your incoming president, Armin Cassenza. Now that I've gotten that remark out of the way, <laughs> Let me say, I don't really have no idea if Armin's going to be all that great as a leader. <laughs> but now I've successfully kissed up to Armin, I stand a good chance of being rehired to speak to you again at next year's meeting. <laughs> that strategic plan. <laughs> After the show is over, I call the Bureau with any leads. Hey Joe, it's Harry Friedman. Got a couple leads for you. First one was from uh, one of the uh, executives, he was, to be honest, a little bit drunk, but uh, he really liked what he could remember of my show. I got a lead from the first cousin of the son of the CEO's best friend, who said he might be able to use me for his sister-in-law's friend's brother's birthday party, so I think that's a really good one. I always try to keep myself on an even keel. Obviously, there's been some ups and downs in this business during the past few years. I think most people in the industry would agree 2007 was a very good year. Cabo, Mexico, they're giving me a suite that's worth $2,500 a night, and I get a free full-time butler and a free massage. And what's the guy's name? Madoff. Never heard of him. And I think most people in the business would agree 2009 was a very challenging year. 
A lot of us took jobs that we normally wouldn't. Stay in school, listen to your parents, and always do your homework on time, and never cross the street without looking both ways, okay? No matter how busy I am, I try to get back to the community. I find it very rewarding to do charity shows, such as, for example, the Swine Flu Charity Dinner, the Salmonella Charity Lunch, the Kids Without School Buses Charity Breakfast, the Parents Without Partners Dance Ball, the Parents with Partners Who Hate Their Parents Midnight Buffet, and the Migraine Sufferers Silent Auction. No matter how hard I'm working, I still try to make sure I have a life. So I have some hobbies that keep me feeling energetic and alive. When I began my career as a corporate speaker and I started working with bureaus, I was very impressed by the level of professionalism that I found. And I think that's a real tribute to the IASB. Because I think you folks are the ones that set the standards in the industry for those high levels of professionalism, honesty, and integrity that make it a lot easier for me to do my job well. Now I bring all this up because I began my career originally as a stand-up comic and I work with a lot of comedy agents. And I can only tell you, it's a very different experience. What's that? Oh, Harry Freeman on TV. Trash it. Oh, Harry Freeman, New York Times article. Ooh, give me that. I am the funniest comedian in Billings, Montana.